Hey everyone, Andrew again with Alpha. Uh, today, kind of going with some of our die sizing and reloading information. Uh, I'm gonna go over a bit more of what we can do with some of our new chamber gauges. So everyone already knows, most guys are using chamber gauges to make sure their rifles are correct. So, you know, you're gonna insert them in. We got a go gauge right here. Our handy dandy Accuracy International that has been used and abused. Go gauge goes in nicely. And we'll put our no-go gauge in. If I can feed it incorrectly. There we go. Locks up, no go. So we know that chamber is in spec. So that's a simple way just to use them as a dumb gauge. One of the other aspects of what I like to use them for is I like to check our growth and then also we can check and use and use these as a, a datum or a zero for our cartridges. So for this example, uh, I have our 6.5 Creedmoor brass. Uh, we just fired some through our, our AI rifle test gun at some pretty high pressures and just did some duration testing. And I wanted to show uh, how we use these tools to determine the length of our chamber, uh, determine how accurate our measuring devices are. We know that for the 6.5 Creedmoor, Sammy spec is off the top of my head. I had to read my notes, 1541. So Sammy spec for 6.5. One point five four one. So that's the min spec for a Sammy cut chamber. Our go gauge, it, which is cut right at min spec, is that dimension and the tolerancing on it is plus point zero 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 two minus point zero 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 zero. So we know that <clears throat> dimension. Knowing that, we can now set and determine how accurate our gauging tooling is. Uh, so this is our Area 419 uh, datum tool. Uh, the shoulder length is measured off of a 0 0.40 datum diameter. So I've inserted that tool in, and then we can take our measurement. So what I like to do, you can either zero the tool, and we'll get some close-ups of this in B-roll. We zero the tool and then determine how far off this might be. So I'm measuring this gauge with the datum tool at 1.533. So knowing that this is measuring at 153 and the gauge is actually 1541, that's telling us that we have an eight thou difference between the two. <clears throat> so if you're talking numbers with other people on the internet or you're going through forums or some of your buddies, and you're looking at different shoulder lengths, you now know that whatever you're measuring, this tool is eight thou short. Um, <clears throat> so you can do the math, add eight thou onto your dimensions, and that should be true to, you know, Sammy spec or actual drawing spec. Um, now what I like to do when I'm looking at how far this chamber, this brass is grown in my chamber, I'm gonna take this tool, insert it, and then I'm gonna zero my Meditoyo gauge. So this now is set at zero. And so that's the min spec qualification for the chamber. And then I can measure our fired brass and see how long that chamber is cut exactly and how the brass is fire forming into the chamber. And so measuring that off of that zero, I've got two thou. So I know that our brass is forming two thou over Sammy Min spec, which is a good, a good measurement, which then would mean if it's two thou over, it'd be one, five, four, three. Now, <clears throat> what I want to also see is how short is our virgin brass of the chamber spec. So we have tooling similar to this in our production line, and we have different gauging, um, slightly like this, uh, in our production line too that we use for uh, our, our general quality control measurements. So now I'm gonna measure this, our brass, and we're measuring at minus one, one thou, after a little balancing out. So our, our virgin brass is, is minus 0 0.001. And then our fired brasses we had was 0, 0.00, which positive 0 0.002. So that means we're seeing, right, 3,000 growth in that chamber, which is very, very acceptable. Now, typically when we see chambers, um, I don't recommend uh, gunsmiths chambering them right at zero, right at min spec. Some guys do. Uh, I always say, if you don't have the action to measure off of because of the tolerance and the action, 
add to thou. Um, if you have the action in hand and you can do exact measurements, then you can probably back it down and get closer to, you know, that one thou. But I, I still always like to see a little more wiggle room there. Um, but two thou is just about perfect in my mind. What this tool's allowed us to do then is get perfectly accurate measurements of how our brass is forming in there. And then it also gives us a reference point to know where our tooling, where our measurement system is off at because uh, these are precision ground, these are precision machined. There's definitely a difference between the two. Um, it's a great tool, it's gonna measure consistently, uh, but this is gonna allow you to create that datum to know exactly the dimensions that you're measuring and working off of. So just in summary, uh, we know that Sammy spec 6.5 Creamore is uh, minimum spec is 1.51, uh, 5.41 to the 0.4 datum line. Using our datum tool, we measured our actual datum or our actual tool in this, and we saw that it was 8,000 short. Um, so what I did is I zeroed it, and that way then I know this is accurate, and then I can determine growth and how short our virgin brass is. So from it, I was able to determine that we are actually, our fire brass is forming two thou over min spec. So that's a really well cut chamber. Nice job by AI, they're great guns. And then our virgin brass is coming out one thou under spec, uh, which is just about where we wanna be. In our, in our process, we typically shoot one to three thou under min spec to make sure that we can fit and form in all chambers. Um, so it's very standard. So just another way to use our new chamber gauges for measurements and accurate measuring. Um, if you have any more questions on this, comments, concerns, or product ideas, um, leave them in the comments and we'll get to them. So thank you very much. Have a good rest of the day.